This video is sponsored by Lulu. Chad Chelius, what do you got for us today, Chad? I'm going to be talking about dot leaders. Dot leaders, okay. Dot leaders. Well, you've got three minutes. I got three minutes, okay. Go. So, um, we've all been creating dot leaders since Cork Express 3.3, right? And, and we've been creating them the same way ever since, right? We've done it the exact same way. Now, I tend to do mine a little bit different. You'll notice that I use an Align Right tab. And the reason I do that is because it makes my leaders flexible, right? If I use a regular tab, this would break immediately. Now, the way that we do leaders traditionally is in the tabs pane, we add a tab stop, and then up here in the leader field, we type a dot, right? But when we do that, we're like, oh, they're too close together, so then we type a dot in a space. Uh, still not enough that we type a dot space in a space, right? You know, we play around with this and try to get it where we want, but it's not very precise. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna strip that out, and I'm gonna redefine my style to kind of get rid of them everywhere. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my stroke panel. I know what you're thinking, what's he doing there, right? Well, if you go to the stroke panel and you go to the panel menu and go to stroke styles, I can create my own custom stroke style called leader dots. And I'm gonna change the type to dotted because that's what I want. And for now, I'm just gonna leave it go. I'm not even gonna play with it right now. Now, what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna create a character style why is my screen a little wonky here? There we go. I'm gonna create a character style and I'm gonna call it dot leaders. And in the underline options, I'm gonna turn that on, set the weight to one, and from the type, I'm gonna choose my leader dots stroke style. And I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. Now if I go back to my paragraph style, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a grep style. Now don't panic guys, it's okay. I'm gonna walk you through it. So I'm gonna create a new grep style and I'm gonna tell it to apply my dot leaders to, and if you go to this little at symbol, I'm gonna to go to other right indent tab. So the job of this grep style is to only apply my dot leaders to any right indent tab. Now I know what you guys are thinking, Chad, that's too much. The dots are spaced out too far. Again, don't panic. So what we're gonna do, go back to your stroke, go back to the panel menu and go to stroke styles. And if we go to our leader dots and we edit that, if we turn on our preview, all you have to do is tweak your pattern length. And as I start adjusting the pattern length, I can visually see exactly how far apart my dots are one point at a time. And once they're where I need to go or want them to be, I click okay and okay and I'm done. Nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.